Hello, everybody. Hi, Jamie and Marcus here. Welcome to Test of Time. Love, passion, and hustle in the restaurant business. Episode number 23. Excellent. Yeah, so we're in the middle this week of doing some menu, redesigning our menu, adding some things, taking some things off. And a lot of people, we get a lot of questions. And analyzing on, our menu. Yeah, people <laughs> ask, like, how do you know what to take off, this and that? So how do so we, we do? We go out to eat quite a bit. Um, so we see a lot. We see lots of menus, we see ideas, um, and we're always looking for different new things. And we also have people that we talk to, right? That we, um, other restaurant owners that we, that we mastermind, mastermind with and go and over coach. things with and coach. So, um, so yeah, so we're, we're in the process of updating our menus and uh, deleting some things, yeah, bringing maybe, some new maybe, things, bringing adding. Some so what's our. What's what's our first step when we when we running reports? Yeah. So we go into our POS. I run reports on um the top sellers, the bottom sellers, um, where we want to move things, what should we be changing, why is it not selling, what is the reason behind that? So we we run analytics, we run numbers so we yeah. can see um, you know, what what maybe we're I'm um, doing really good on and what we're making money on, what we're not making money on. Yeah, so it's shocking. How how much prices have gone up on things. So it's shocking because when you ask your chef or you ask your wait staff or you just- What do you sell the most of? What do you, like, what do we sell the most of? Like, is this, they really don't, they can't tell you accurate, but when you run numbers and you see- It's accurate. You sold 300 of this burger and 65 of the other type of burger. You're like, and the third burger in there is at 200. You're like, something's wrong here. Like that one that's 60, that's selling 65 might be a, might be a great burger. It might be a fantastic burger we put it on the menu and we love it because we put everything on the menu but, we love, but it's not selling. Maybe there's a reason like, you know, we have a burger on the menu with a cheese that people don't know. And maybe they're not ordering it because they don't know the cheese and our staff is not, is not telling them right. what the cheese is. So. Right. So there's a couple of ways around this. Either you take it off, get it off, put on a new menu item on. Or run, train your staff. Train your staff to sell that dish better. Um, or in the case of, let's say it was a vegetarian burger versus beef burgers, you'd want to keep those 65 vegetarians happy that are ordering that burger because right. they're probably bringing in people that are eating the other burgers. Exactly. So it's really not a cut and dry answer of what should we take off? What should we take off? Selling? What should we take off? Or by numbers. Right? By numbers. Yeah. Right? Now we should take it off or redo it if the price, if the price is not in line. So the menu, if menu is not costed out, you're in trouble, first mm -hmm. of all. So if that burger that's selling for selling 300 of those burgers and you have running way too high of a food cost, you need to bump the price up. The price needs to get pumped up. And I can tell you that if you're running, if, so, if something's if something's winning by a landslide, you can automatically bump it up anyway. That's a tactic that a lot of restaurateurs do, including us. If something's winning by a landslide, the people will pay another buck for it, another two bucks, whatever it is, 50 cents more if it's an appetizer, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a whole extra $300 that you have now to pay staff, pay bills, do something else, right? So um, that's one of the strategies. Now, Alex Hermosi wrote a book called The Million Dollar Offer, The Gym Book. Did you read that book on, on Alex Hermosi? He's the guy who does gyms. Remember. So he said I something like we did. I did. He said something super important in that book. The biggest takeaway from that book is you need to make it impossible for your guests to say, say no. no, right? No, I will not going to go there. No, I'm not going to buy that. No. So you always need like what's called a loss leader, what brings people into the restaurant that the numbers quite don't work out on, but it's hard for them to say no. So for example, like 24 hour fitness, what is it? Nine bucks a month. Like, you don't miss nine bucks. You don't care about losing nine bucks a month. If you don't go to the gym for six months, you just don't care. If you're paying $150 a month and you haven't gone to the gym for six months, you're going to care. You're going to be like, okay, I'm not going to spend that 150 bucks or that right. 69 bucks or 70 bucks or hundred bucks. I'm not going to do that. Nine bucks. I don't care. So yesterday we went to a place to eat mm -hmm. and there was an offer on, on the menu. That was for me, it was hard to say no to. It was a bottomless wine glass. If you bought an entree, so you buy the entree. I but was you a, weren't going to get an entree. I wasn't going to get an entree, right? I was going to get an appetizer. I wasn't going to get an entree, but for twenty five bucks, the wine glasses were fourteen dollars each. I was definitely drinking two glasses of wine. 
So I'm like, okay, I can get a bottomless wine glass for 25. I'm definitely going to get my money back in the first two glasses. And instead of buying an appetizer, I'm going to buy an entree. And four glasses of wine later, hmm. I was, or was it five glasses? Uh, probably five. Probably five. Five glasses <laughs> later. <laughs> five glasses later, it was, it, it was, I won. I won because it was hard. But here's the thing. I would go back for that, knowing that they had that offer. I would totally go back for that of offer. Of course. I would go back. You would too. Yeah. So yeah. they they won me. They made the offer so irresistible that it's hard to say no to. Yeah. Now, that's what we're trying to do on our menu. We have lobster night. We have some things that are lost leaders like that. We're trying to do that. And so we've been brainstorming lately. Like, what can we do that's easy to serve, um, create food costs, can lower the price drastically, and package it up so a couple can sit down and be occupied for an hour. I, we were occupied for an hour and a half. Now, while I was drinking all my wine, everybody else was drinking more drinks at the table. Right. So they won. They they, they 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 ultimately won, but I feel like I won too. Right. So, so yeah. the, I guess the question is, what is your um, big promo going to be? What is your big offer going to be, right, to your guests, to your, for your business, whatever it might be, right? So I think that's the question that we're posing right now to you while you're listening to us is what is your big offer going to be and what are you thinking about doing and what do you need to do to get more guests in your seats right so it can be a one-time event or it can be a weekly a weekly every monday every tuesday it can be once a month um for us i know like our our crawfish boils are super popular we probably need to plan those for the summer Mm because summer's here people ask us about them those are super popular and we make a lot of money on them um, but we give a good deal. So when we were slower, we used, we were doing a, um, a book your birthday party. Book your birthday party. Um, and it was a free birthday party. We were doing free holiday yeah, so um, I, I want to talk, I well. talk about this, this free birthday party. Yeah. So a lot of restaurants will give free appetizers or nosh or give great prices on drinks or something. But imagine if you identified people who had a birthday and said, if you bring at least eight of your friends in, which we did this, you bring at least eight of your friends in. We'll give you small bites at the bar for free. It's birthday, they're celebrating eight people or more. They're coming to party and they're coming to drink and they're staying for dinner. And so you give them, you make some appetizers, some food, some nosh, and you put it out. And that's it. An hour and a half of hors d'oeuvres, small bites, we called it. And you got a free birthday party. And I don't think we ever lost on any of those. Mm-mm. No, never. Never lost on any of those. Never. Did those for years, never lost. We should probably go back to doing those. Again, I think they should have an option between a free birthday steak or a birthday, free birthday, birthday party. party. Yes. So we have a free birthday steak. You get a free birthday steak during dinner. It's an it's an irresistible offer. It's hard mm-hmm. to say no to a free steak or a free salmon or vegetarian dish. So we send out 300, 400 postcards a month. And we get back anywhere from 60 to 80. Yeah. And you know, they come in, in and, and I keep numbers. I, I watch all my numbers and I know how many are coming in. Yep. So you get like $112 mm-hmm. back per offer. Right. Yeah. And, but they love us. And they keep coming back and back and back. And in, sometimes it introduces new people because sometimes if a person moves, it gets to the current resident at the house. Mm-hmm. And we've actually gained customers. Like I got this thing. It wasn't for me, but I didn't know you were here and I love your restaurant now. Right. So bingo. So what is your irresistible offer going to be? What are you going to offer your guests? And um, that, yeah. yeah. So now can I tell them what I want to do in our garden? No. Why not? No, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> so mussels, mussels are a great food cost item, right? What do mussels cost? Two fifty a pound. Um, from there, people charge like 14 bucks, 15 bucks, 16 bucks, even more for a pound of mussels. Or 12, 13 bucks for not even, not even, not even giving you a pound, half a pound. Yeah. So it's a great moneymaker. So I'm like, okay, $2 and 50 cents. Um, what is five pounds going to cost? Five pounds is going to cost 15 bucks, less than 15 bucks with the sauce. Um, let's pair it up with a bottle of wine and a salad and put five pounds of pot mussels in a big pot and charge 75 bucks for it. Like if that was us, we'd be all over that. We probably, there was a restaurant that said, Five pounds of mussels, you get some grilled bread with it, you get a salad and a bottle of wine for 75 bucks. I don't care what the wine is. I, I would go there and say, okay, I might not like the wine. Can I upgrade? Can I, right? Can I, can I upgrade? And you and I would drink the first bottle and then we'd buy more glasses. Mm-hmm. That's just what we would do. So, but that, I think that an offer like that 
it's a money maker. It gets people in the door and you can offer it in off peak times or what my thought process is, it's going to keep people occupied for an hour, right? Very low maintenance. They might so want to do So what I think we need to do, I think we should try it and do it on a Sunday Yep. and do, this is our muscle um, event in the garden, yep. muscles and a bottle of wine and a salad for $50. And let's see how 75. it goes. 75 okay. and let's see how it yep. goes. Yep. Whatever, whatever price we go. Whatever we come We're going to put, actually put a pencil. But that's what I think we need to do. We need to book that. And see how many reservations we get. Yep, let's do it every Sunday. Well, let's start with one. Start with one. Okay. Start with one. Okay. All yeah. right. Uh, yeah. Let's start. Make it irresistible exactly. for the next interim. Let's see. Charcuterie board and a bottle and a salad mm -hmm. for whatever price, right? Yep. Yep. So maybe we do Sunday in the garden and we do something different every week. Yeah. Then they want to come. Yeah. Every week. Yeah. So yep. Make it irresistible. Make it where they want to come to you. We could even open up on a, on our closed night and do something simple yep. like that. Yep. That's irresistible. Like we're not open a full kitchen. A lot of restaurants do this now. They have an extra night that they're open. Well, it's grandma it's, night tonight. It's, it's, it's whatever. It's, 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 um, chef's night off. Well, chef's night the, off. Or the kitchen's night off. So We went to a place one time where they allowed you to bring food in from another mm -hmm. restaurant. But the bar was open. The bar was open. Bring food in. Mm -hmm. Eat here. But you're drinking here. Yeah. Like, right? Like, yep. can't do, can't, yeah. Like, how great was that? We loved that. That one time we went back to the place the following year. And they were no, they were closed. They were, they had closed. They had closed. They had closed. So maybe the chef meant, think outside the box and you have yeah. to think big and you have to think, how are we getting people here? So right. I think that's what we're going to try. I think yep. we're going to do a one Sunday in the garden, yep. do a charcuterie board um, one week, do mussels one week, and let's see how it goes. So let's do both. Think big. Think big. Think big. Think big. Think big. Think big. Get them in your door. Make the make him make them Alex want to come to you opposed to going somewhere else. Alex Ramosi, make the offer so irresistible they can't say no. Yep. That's it. Absolutely. All right. That's all right. For more great tips on how to run a restaurant or love your restaurant, go to restaurantgrowthsecretsuniversity.com. We have tons of, of videos over there, content, lots of video content. And we have the most comprehensive online training system, accountability system for restaurants. Um, all that pricing's over there. It's an amazing system. It's what we use. I just uploaded 60 more videos so you can train your staff and uh, more than 60, 70 videos. It's, it's an image and you can upload your own videos. It's a whole great thing. We'll talk about team training in another episode. And that's it, folks. Test Every of time. Test of time. Episode number 23, love, passion, and hustle. Great day.